It would be one to find the limit of x times 3 to the 1 over x minus 3 as x approaches infinity. And so, if we let x approach infinity, then this will be infinity 1 over x will approach 0, e to the 0 is 1, and then 3 times 1 is 3, minus 3 is 0. And so we get infinity times 0, which is indeterminate form, but this is not infinity over infinity or 0 over 0. And so from here, we cannot use L'Hopital's rule yet. So what we can do is rewrite the expression x times 3e to the 1 over x minus 3, like this. Multiplying by x is the same as dividing by 1 over x. So dividing by 1 over x is the same as multiplying by x. And now we let x approach infinity, then again the top here will approach 0, and then the bottom here we get 1 over infinity, which is 0. So we get 0 over 0. And once again, as long as we get infinity over infinity or 0 over 0, then we can use L'Hopital's rule. rule. And so to use L'Hopital's rule, to find this limit, we need the derivative of the top and the derivative of the bottom of the, de de of the uh, denominator. Derivative of 1 over x, 1 over x is x to the negative 1. The derivative uh, move the negative 1 and place it in front of the x and then subtract 1 from the exponent. So we get negative 1 times x to the negative 2. And then this is the uh, x to the negative 2 is the same as 1 over x to the second. So this is the same as this. So we get negative 1 over x to the second. And then the derivative for um, 3 to the 1 over x minus 3 this will be 3 times e to the 1 over x and then multiply by uh, the derivative of 1 over x. The derivative 1 over x is negative 1 over x squared, so we get 3 times e to the 1 over x times negative 1 over x squared, which is negative 3 times e to the 1 over x dividing by x squared. And so the derivative of the original expression here, using L'Hopital's rule, the derivative of the top here is negative 3 times e to the 1 over x dividing by x squared. The derivative of 1 over x is negative 1 over x squared. And so we get negative 3 to the 1 over x over x squared times the reciprocal. And so we get negative x squared over 1. Negative uh, x squared dividing by x squared is 1. Negative times negative is positive. And so we get 3 to the 1 over x. Now letting x approach infinity. 1 over infinity would be 0, e to the 0 is 1, 
So we get 3 times 1, which is 3. So the answer is 3.